I feel like there's always whenever you want to go out on like some roads where there's curves or just like straightaways where you can open it up what's up dude there's always somebody in front of you that wants to drive slow and ruin your ride that's just me I don't know so anyway what's up everybody so I'm on my way to go do something that a lot of people in the Midwest do is go find some mushrooms. I'm gonna go find some mushrooms and make some steak. Mm. If you don't know what mushroom hunting is, if you're from a different part of the world and you don't have spikes and sponges and uh, they look like this. But here they are a delicacy and there are lots of different ways to prepare them. Some people grill them. Some people fry them. Some people... All right, man. You are in my way. And you are not using turn signals. Some people saute them. I like them sauteed. With a little bit of oil. Delicious. So this is a new section of road that's open now. This is kind of awesome. It has been forever in the making on this. It is weird. This road used to go that way. Nice fresh black top. Woo! So yeah, I'm headed over to hang out with my my dad. We're gonna go out into the woods and do some mushroom hunting and hopefully we get enough to be able to saute him up and have some steak and drink a beer and it's an Ohio springtime thing. What are some of your springtime traditions? I'm interested to know, because I know you don't have mushrooms in every part of the country, but I do know you can buy them at the store, and they're like $50 for like a half a pound or a quarter of a pound or some noise like that. So we're gonna go find a road with some curvies on the way over there that I can open up the Zuki and see what it looks like on camera, two different cameras taking some curves. It's orange barrel season. I'm convinced that there are more orange barrels in the United States than there are people. There has to be. Because think about it. There are thousands and thousands and thousands and probably millions of these damn things in every state. That was not fun. Did not see that until it was too late. Go, bicyclist. Go, go, go. I got you. That lean, though. That rip, though. See, this is what I mean. The speed limit is definitely 50. Let's go. It's a little breezy today. Going around. I'm so excited for it to get warm enough where I can like just ride in a t-shirt. I know like you should wear gear all the time. What does that blockhead says? All the gear, all the time, something like that. But when it's really hot outside, I will ride in a t-shirt with my helmet and gloves. And go out and enjoy the warm weather. It feels like it's taken forever to get warm this year. Like it's May. Someday in May. I don't know what freaking day it is. Yeah, this is why we don't cut corners, buddy. <laughs> Wrong answer. He gave me the apologetic wave. <laughs> Sorry. I love this road. It's so easy to just open her up and go fast. Watch out for gravel though and other cars. Yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Just 
this used to be the skosh warmer. Just a skosh. I have no idea where that term came from. Can anybody tell me? A skosh. What is a skosh? <laughs> I feel like you could use that for anything. Ohio countryside. Love it. Now you gotta slow way the hell down for this curve because Whoops, wrong gear. It'd be so easy to just go too fast and not uh, not be able to recover. I was on the bike the other day with Miss Moto Aviator and we were talking about counter steering. Whoops. A bug, I think. Jesus. Anyway, we were talking about counter steering and counter steering and counter steering. I've seen so many videos of people and heard stories of people wrecking because they rely solely on on the lean and not counter steering. If you're new to motorcycling, counter steering is when you pull to the left and you go right and you pull to the right and you go left in combination with a turn and a lean. It'll save your damn life. If you don't know what counter steering is you shouldn't be taking any kind of curve faster than like five miles an hour because you will kill yourself oh, I love just going out and by yourself and just ride you and the road and the bike love it my dad's gonna be like where the hell are you I'm coming mate coming motorbikes sir alrighty guys I think I'm gonna wrap this video up nothing too exciting happening uh, I just wanted to make a video about springtime traditions here in Ohio all right well thanks for watching if you like the video go ahead and make sure you hit that like button hit the red uh, subscribe icon and hit the bell so you know next time I upload a video I'm still on the fence about whether I want to switch to Monday, Thursday, um, or go back to Tuesday, Friday. I don't really know which one I like better. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.